VC, verify F9's in startup. Vehicles in startup. Stage 2 tanks pressing up for flight. T minus 30. T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Altitude 6 kilometers, speed 270 meters per second, downrange distance 2 kilometers. Vehicle supersonic. And vehicles reach maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one propulsion continues to be nominal. Power system still nominal. Good telemetry lock. T plus two minutes. Altitude. 28.9 kilometers, speed 1.1 kilometers per second, downrange distance 32 kilometers. MVAC has begun chilling. T plus 2 minutes 30 seconds. Vehicles flying down the center. Altitude 48 kilometers. Speed 1.9 kilometers per second. Downrange distance 75 kilometers. We have Mika one. And we have M back M back ignition. Verify or vent the RP-1 storage tank.
Bearing separation. Stage two propulsion continues. Bermuda nominal. acquisition of signal. T plus four minutes, 30 seconds, altitude 137 kilometers, speed 3.2 kilometers per second, downrange distance 400 kilometers. Power system still nominal. plus five minutes, 20 seconds. Altitude, 103.8 kilometers per second. Downrange distance, 570 kilometers. Vehicle continues to fly down a nominal. Stage two propulsion continues to be nominal. plus 6 minutes 20 seconds, altitude 173 kilometers, speed 4.4 kilometers per second, downrange distance 800 kilometers. Power system still nominal. Good to one tree lock. First stage engine relit. T plus 7 minutes, 30 seconds, altitude 180 kilometers, speed 5.6 kilometers per second, downrange distance 1,150 kilometers. Vehicles enter terminal guidance mode. FTS is saved. There's Miko. Orbital parameters are 200 by 176 kilometers, inclined 27.7 degrees to the equator. Good orbit insertion. We have TEL-4 lost signal.
And it looks like we have another successful launch of the Falcon 9 rocket carrying the AsiaSat 8 satellite. As you heard, the first stage uh, had a great flight, second stage separated, you saw engine ignition, uh, payload fairing separation, and then just uh, moments ago we had shutdown of the second stage engine. Uh, the orbit looks very good for insertion into parking orbit. A little bit later uh, in the flight, uh, we will have a restart of the upper stage engine that will carry the AsiaSat 8 satellite to the final uh, injection orbit from the Falcon 9. Uh, however, that is going to bring an end to the webcast uh, for this evening, this early morning. Here at SpaceX, we'd like to thank our AsiaSat customer uh, for their confidence in selecting us, and uh, we look forward to uh, letting everybody know how things go a little bit later this morning. Also like to thank the Air Force for the Eastern Range and Ground Station support around the world. Also the Federal Aviation Administration for uh, working with us as we got the Falcon 9, uh, both air and ground systems ready to go and fly. And then finally thank you for sticking with us uh, through uh, two and a half hours of delay but it appears to have been worth it as the launch looked outstanding coming off of the pad at Complex 40 at the Cape. So remember to follow us at SpaceX.com and our social media pages as we continue the mission and for our future events. And we will see you next time for the next flight of the Falcon 9. Good night, everyone.